all right all right hello everyone and now welcome to a game happy versus sock this game taking place here on northern isle we have happy spawning as the blue undead on the top right hand side of the map meanwhile sock has spawned as the red human on the bottom left this is northern isle as i mentioned before human versus undead as this promises to be a well a great game First of all, um, I don't know who wins. Um, it was does come fairly well recommended from the W3 Info's um, site. I almost said Warcraft 3 replays. That is a blast from the past. Um, anyways, it does come with a bit of, well, baggage, I guess, for human players and, well, anyone who goes up against Happy. So players out there are probably already um, already know that happy has been the emperor for quite some time he's been dominating the scene and well um we'll see if this game is going to be anything different we are looking at happy opening things up with a ziggurat the hero of choice is gonna be a lich first so a happy opening things up with a lich first going up against an archmage now lich first allows you to well be able to nuke down your targets faster also um, being able to deal a significant damage and then when the death knight does come out on the scene at tier two that 200 hit point heal definitely heals up that lich fairly quickly coming back around we are looking at a tomb of relics as well don't see a graveyard yet as the tech to tier two should be coming in shortly from both of these players now we should also be looking at the count at the number of workers. Saw currently at 13 workers. I think he will be stopping there. If he keeps on going, we could expect to see some sort of fast expansion attempt as the Archmage now makes its way out onto the battlefield. All right, AM out on the battlefield here. Lich now out on the battlefield as well. Going to go ahead and sell that Scroll of Town Portal, pick up a Sacrificial Skull, Rod of Necromancy, and also that Ritual Dagger opening things up to be able to heal this undead army early on ritual dagger was a recent addition to the um well to warcraft 3 when they say recent still um well a couple um, more than i believe a year ago but as this game is over 20 or 20 years old now a recent addition from that shop allowing for non-death knight first play uh, having that ritual dagger alongside these skeletal warriors allows you to try and heal up your army fairly fast we are looking at additional peasants also being trained up by sock though so it could be a fast expansion attempt here by sock once he scouted out the fact that his opponent was gonna go ahead and try to get a ziggurat up as well lich now sitting at level two picked up a pure up of vitality ogre magi now taken down archmage already sitting at level two he has a crystal ball and we could be looking at tower now being placed down in addition to a town hall archmage perhaps going to try to venture off to the north here an army lich and um, of happy going to try and engage and here we are already engaging now archmage dropping in a water elemental both sides going to be fighting their way through and there goes a frost nova onto that archmage archmage gets the gets the deny in denying that um, experience from that lich as damage is still racking up skeletal minions are slowly getting picked off but so are water elementals both sides getting in some destruction on their opponents summoned units to get a little bit more experience with all that said and done though happy does have a ziggurat already up and running haunted gold mine is currently well currently getting haunted here he's getting summoned into position and additional acolytes could be made over meanwhile town hall is not getting upgraded at all and as we are going to be staying at tier one a little bit longer than i had originally expected happy now trying to retreat back with that lich as both sides are engaging you can see that ritual dagger getting in a couple of heals here across all of those lower hit point ghouls as the water elementals are trying to hold the front door and try and put pressure onto those ghouls as they try to venture forth all right the heals coming in once again water elemental trying to get surrounded or trying to dodge the surround by those those acolytes or by those um not those acolytes by those ghouls as that damage is still racking up a little bit all right continually pushing damage onto one um one unlucky ghoul so far as here we are that one arcane tower frost nova under the archmage archmage now trying to retreat back arcane tower now gonna go ahead and feed back some damage onto that lich as that lich is down to 135 mana all right more damage racking up here archmage gonna try and hold this position lich now getting in a little bit of damage here are we gonna see a frost nova under the lich from the other side there's a scroll of town portal expecting that frost nova and where is all of the units gonna get teleported 
teleported back off to their Lich ends up losing just a bit more mana again, and it could end up having a bit of problems. All right, there goes a ghoul. Archmage sitting at level 2, just shy of level 3, and that was a brilliant brilliant use of that scroll of town portal to try and buy a couple of precious precious seconds was able to finish off a ghoul and now we're going to be looking at a level three archmage here in just a moment as an arcane vault is going to be added here as well all right a little bit of easy healing we're going to be getting a level three archmage perhaps a clarity potion to follow things up and with that said a very nice opening by sock who has yet who has still not yet started that tech to tier two level three on that archmage does mean level two water elementals level two water elementals take a little bit more damage also deal a bit more damage as well as we can see that clarity potion will mean a two water elementals at the expansion now nerubian tower is already up and operational defense is going to be fairly easy as that lich is inching closer to level three already upwards of 255 mana should be able to get off two frost novas in this battle meanwhile what is the archmage looking to do selling that um, crystal ball and now moving on forward that water elemental 33 to 41 piercing damage as that second water elemental elemental could be coming into position as well all right are we gonna see a creep jack here and here we are a little bit of damage water elemental gonna be coming back across there's another dark ritual right there second water elemental trying to rack up damage and that ghoul gonna get taken down one ghoul already down a second ghoul could get taken down as well as the water elemental is unable to catch up there all right trying to rack up a little bit more damage there is another ensnare there goes another ghoul as the footmen are now trying to well stop a lot of the mining happening here against these acolytes all right the necropolis is currently coming up there's a dark ritual there level two um frost nova going to be coming across here perhaps trying to rack up a little bit more damage two water elementals in position archmage has to be very careful though as that lich could get a big frost nova down onto that archmage and then with that slowed a slowed movement speed have a little bit of problems Archmage, however, using up another clarity potion here. Water Elemental trying to take down Acolytes as they are just walking around here. A nice easy surround onto that Water Elemental here as that Lich is going to get a little bit more bonus experience from those summons. All right, both sides continuing to fight out their way back through. Another Skeletal Minion going to get taken down. There's a Frost Nova onto the Archmage as he's able to retreat back at 141 hit points. New fresh water elemental trying to put pressure onto the necropolis here. But all of this is really just um, trying to take down acolytes so that it is not at full saturation as this necropolis is still getting summoned and the main necropolis is teching the tier 2. After all of this is said and done though, I believe we are going to be transitioning as the archmage is going to heal back up. Tech to tier 2 is nearly done for both sides. We're going to be looking at most likely a death knight and a mountain king and perhaps a transition into gargoyles as happy already has up two crypts sock off on the other side here is tr getting up an additional scout tower we are looking at some well um, sword upgrades weapon attack upgrades as well 48 supply compared to 42 as we are looking at well full saturation as soon for happy's expansion archmage gonna try to continue to put in more pressure could get defend on those footmen and try to clear out this troll warlord creep camp but we don't see that instead we are going into a mountain king and now transitioning into flying machines to try and deal with those gargoyles and as eventual eventual of uh, destroyers here lich however going after all of these units here meanwhile archmage trying to finish off some more skeletal minutes gonna be able to take them down and the, well, the Archmage is going to be dealing with a level 3 Lich that also has a Sobi Mask. And also that Dark Ritual should, should be able to continue to machine gun all of those units here. All right. Archmage is going to continue to drop in some more Water Elemental. Trying to finish off some of those uh, Gargoyles that are off in the skies. Meanwhile, the Footmen are trying to cause some problems and disruption inside or behind the base here. As the Death Knight now out here onto the battlefield. Mountain King is going to reach the battlefield here in just a moment. Dual Water Elemental trying to put in pressure. Perhaps trying to take down some of those units as the death knight now out here should be able to get in some good death coils onto those lower hit point units another footman gonna get taken down there you are stormbolt onto the lich lich getting stunned as the death coil it does give that precious for an additional 200 hit points as the archmage trying to put pressure onto that lich now triple water elementals but triple water elementals don't last long as one does go down to time life mountain king could have a bit of trouble 
as the Mountain King tries to retreat back. Lich does not have enough mana just quite yet. Still trying to uh, well, return the favor, trying to get some damage onto those Gargoyles. 49 supply compared to 44, as Sock does have quite a bank of gold to try and spend, perhaps take down some of those units. Mountain King could be in trouble. Mountain King, Boots of Speed, Stormbolt, as the Lich gets up to level 4. The damage racked up. Mountain King falls at level 1, and the Archmage retreating, well, retreating back home with no real support whatsoever. Tech to tier 3, nearly done. We should be looking at a Paladin getting trained up here as well. Meanwhile, the Death Knight looking to get to level 2 for that faster movement speed as Flying Machines going to perhaps go after those Gargoyles and try and burst them down. All right, a lot of damage getting exchanged back and forth there. There goes one Water Elemental. It will get taken down as well as the Mountain King will most likely be followed up by that Paladin here. All right, not quite sure what happened. It looked like the uh, Mountain King should have been resurrected level and it was canceled and then restarted so that was a big major setback by sock as a level one hero does resurrect rather quick normally fly machine's gonna try and engage against those gargoyles as they are exchanging blows back and forth a big frost nova across one footman the splash damage getting another one taken out there as those units are retreating back 58 supply compared to 50 happy now the one with the larger bank but the smaller army as the as the stats are reversed just a bit fly machines one zero upgrades trying to take down those gargoyles who do have faster movement speed because of that unholy aura Flying machines continuing the chase of those gargoyles once again. Meanwhile, we are not looking at any additional upgrades. Socks getting up to near 70 supply, 68 compared to Happy's 51. Where are these units as the knights are now joining out onto the battlefield? Mountain King is going to be able to finish off that lich. No, it's not. Potion of invulnerability followed by a death coil, allowing the um, the well, allowing that lich to be able to get away. Potion of lesser invulnerability already coming to an end there. All right, more knights getting trained up, animal war training getting added in as well. We could be seeing a transition into banshees with possession here momentarily as the flying machines are looking for a target as the lich now trying to escape away at 133 hit points. All right, it looks like it will be able to escape away. Flying machines going to go ahead and take down some of those gar um, gargoyles. Gargoyles are getting shot out of the sky there. Lich now down to, well... 145 hit points, still trying to retreat back, but the Mountain King doesn't have enough mana. Level 4 Archmage with level 2 Brilliant Aura now still not enough to keep things all nicely topped off as the Knights trying to engage against these Crypt Fiends here. Water Elemental, while taking quite a beating from these Crypt Fiends, the Lich, the Death Knight, and these Obsidian Statues, as the Crypt Fiends are just going to be feeding experience by webbing down or getting experience by webbing down these flying machines easily stormbolt now onto a crypt fiend are we going to see a death quail no no death quail a, well dark ritual denying that crypt fiend there as the lich could perhaps try and turn things back around and get in another frost nova paladin out here already on the battlefield trying to get some holy lights onto some of these knights here as we are getting up some siege engines to try and take down these nerubian towers the Rubian Tower is about to get taken down right there. There it goes. More damage still racking up, perhaps against those Spirit Towers there. Meanwhile, back down to the south side here. Paladin going to get in some more Holy Light, trying to keep that Mountain King alive and well. Stormbolt there as the Paladin, down to 104 hit points, is going to be able to escape away. No, Frost Nova gets taken down once more. Fly Machines do have the bomb upgrades, and they are trying to bombard these Obsidian Statues. Nice, easy targets as the Siege Engines rolling things over against all of these units again obsidian statue gonna well get stay safe in the back nope end up getting taken down as the flying machine breaks things through as we are going into a dreadlord with that carry on swarm to try and blow over many of those flying machines now we are one base compared to two as the undead unable to hold on to the expansion but does see a level three death knight in addition to that level one dreadlord and nearly level five lich Still anyone's game, Sock having the much larger army and the economy going for him. However, happy being happy, having the hero level advantage and I guess the racial advantage, if, if you want to call it that, Death Knight now making its way over trying to take down these trackers now. All right, tracker going to get taken down level 5 now on that Lich. That level 3 Frost Nova should be a tremendous difference, plus 16 attack with that Orb of Corruption debuff as well. Lich should not have been in that fight whatsoever. As we're going to see a Death Coil, Frost Nova, Holy Light, and trying to, well, to stop that Archmage as the Archmage does get Staff of Sanctuary and sent back home. 
Mountain King. Now, um, getting in a decent thunderclap here is going to be able to break free, taking down one ghoul, second ghoul, third ghoul could get taken down as well. Mountain King could try to go for another thunderclap there as it's still taking quite a bit of damage. Carry on swarm ripping through down to 103 hit points is going to get taken down. Potion of invulnerability in time. Stormbolt now onto the Dreadlord as an obsidian statue gets taken down. 70 supply compared to 39. That is a major army size advantage as the units are trying to retreat back. Heroes are absolutely in the danger zone here as the Archmage is now back, ready to go. Mountain King trying to stay alive here. Paladins trying to stay nearby as well. Perhaps get a holy light on that Mountain King as we do need to see some priests try and help that Mountain King uh, well, not be in danger. All right, going to go ahead and try and engage here. Stormbolt going to find that Dreadlord. Dreadlord gets a death coil and is currently fine. Meanwhile, that Mountain King still in that danger zone. Going to go ahead and head, find a Staff of Sanctuary and slowly heal back up as we see a sleep go down onto the Paladin to try and prevent any additional heals. Knights coming back the other way. 76 supply compared to 52 as the Knights with that fast movement speed trying to chase down some of these other targets. Fly Machines also trying to put in pressure here, but there are enough Crypt Fiends nearby to try and web things down. All right, both sides. Well, um, it looks as though Happy going to go ahead and uh, engage against this Ice Troll Warlord Creep Camp Archmage nearby as well. Paladin needs to get to level 2 and for that Devotion Aura or Divine Shield. Both of them would be a powerful, powerful upgrade to the human army. Meanwhile, Happy is keeping the Lich nearby enough so that excuse me keeping the lich nearby enough so that it is still taking experience away from the rest of the undead heroes all right four two two going up against a five three two definite hero level advantage for happy meanwhile sock does have the army supply advantage and now going to be trying to drop in some siege engines straight up on this haunted gold mine carry on swarm trying to rip through those units not going to be able to find too many flying machines as we are looking at some repairs getting underway meanwhile down to the south side here thunderclap they're trying to slow any sort of retreating here as we see a bunch of illusions now having a little bit of a problem as the expansion goes once more all right still engaging here again Crypt Fiends now making their way back around. Unit's going to try and escape away as the uh, Knights, well, still looking to pull back away from the undead army. Siege Engines finding, perhaps trying to take down this Necropolis, slow things down just a little bit as the Crypt Fiends with their, well, piercing um, damage, not doing too much against the Fortified, but there is still a lot going on. Knights continuing the fight back here. Are we going to see some Staff of Sanctuaries? There's a Staff of Sanctuary once again. And saving up a low hit point knight. However, that those not, only one Staff of Sanctuary means that the other knights are not going to get as beneficial of a break. Both sides still fighting their way through. 70 supply compared to 47 non-stop action as the another knight falls down here. Level 4 now on that death knight with level 2 unholy aura. Not, nope, not yet. Not trained as of yet as spellbreakers are joining out here onto the battlefield. 65 supply compared to 44 siege engines trying to take down the necropolis. Acolytes trying to keep that constantly topped off as the paladin now going to go ahead and retreat back home at 219 hit points trying to reset things once more fly machines quickly getting webbed that's going to give a little bit more experience to the undead army as the well dreadlord finds himself at level three with level two carry on swarm three minutes of mining at the main base four minutes of mining at the expansion meanwhile undead uh, if Happy can get this expansion up and running, he will be able to go longer. 50 supply over 60 compared to 67 over 84. Happy, um, well, going into low upkeep now, sitting on a level 5, level 4, level 3 compared to level 4, level 2, level 2. More than a 1 le or 3 level advantage across all 3 heroes. Paladin sitting at level 2. Mountain King sitting at level 2. Both of these heroes need to get to level 3 to open up a stronger healing and stronger direct damage. Meanwhile, Happy and Happy's Death Knight and Dreadlord going after the Magnetar Reaver Creep Camp in the corner of the map, hoping to get a major, major boost as well. Paladin already at level 3. Mountain King just shy by 3 experience. And this little opportunity for Sock to try and catch up is going to be huge. 
two one upgrades no additional armor upgrades 71 supply compared to 60 over 60 as the gold mines could be running out here in just a moment archmage now trying to make its way over level three now on that mountain king in addition to that paladin as the archmage drops in additional water elementals archmage could actually benefit from a bit of experience as well trying to go after this magnetar reaver creep camp tome of agility plus two giving additional armor to that paladin as the mountain king well with a helm of a valor better strength and agility overall north of a thousand hit points could be able to deal significant significant damage all right five three five four four creep camp archmage does have bloodlust has that orb of fire as well we do see we see two staff of sanctuaries as the archmage does spot a little bit of creeping going off on the other side here gonna go ahead and lead in on the charge all right, this is a big charge right here. Mountain King, is he going to try to get a Thunderclap? Yes, it does. Level 2 Thunderclap across the majority of that frontline army. Getting slowed up. Holy Light trying to save things a little bit more. Stormbolt onto the Dreadlord. Dreadlord, however, gets a big full heal. Archmage did not apply that Orb of Fire debuff as more Frost Nova is going down big um holy or a staff of sanctuary they're trying to save some low hit point knights but some knights not getting um well far enough away more damage still racking up more frost nova going down as that lich able to apply some slow slowing debuffs on this chasing army more storm bolts coming back across here as damage is going to be racking up again one crippling gets taken down holy light trying to save up that mountain king mountain king still in that frontline spot more damage is going to get racked up here storm bolt perhaps going to find that death knight as the death knight could end up not being able to heal up any additional crypt means mountain king still trying to give chase here a low hit point abomination looks like it's going to be able to survive as we are looking at more frost nova going down across all of those frontline units big damage indeed as the mountain king get, gets taken down with a potion of lesser invulnerability not being used holy light catches the abomination off guard that um, 200 hit point instant nuke takes it down as well 70 supply compared to 59 water elementals getting taken out as the Dreadlord getting very close to um, a level, actually a level up all within the realm of possibility for each of the undead heroes. Siege engines continuing to try to be dropped here. Constant repairs on the expansion. Gold mines only have a minute of mining left. Uh, well, expansion of a sock already done. And meanwhile, still plenty of mining for Happy as Happy is going to be playing a bit of catch up in the economic race as he's currently on two bases. Um, compared to one 68 supply compared to 63 sock well having no way to really close the door against that hero level advantage that happy was able to establish now that happy has that hero level advantage and the, the economic advantage things are gonna be tough mountain king needs to well get up to level four and um, for that level two storm bolt and with a level two Stormbolt, that may be enough to pick off any low hit point units. We are looking at triple staff of sanctuaries by the human army and now bringing everything in these militia off from the far side to try and bring in just a little bit of additional damage. Additional knights, mountain kings now leading the charge. And here we are. Here we go. Siege engine is going to try and drop in across the north and going to try and engage. Here we are. That is one very low hit point or one very gutsy knight who needs to back away. More damage racking in as the siege engine is trying to take down that haunted gold mine there. All right. Thunderclap has already come to an end mountain king gets in another thunderclap right there holy light trying to save that mountain king as that potion of invulnerability will not be lasting log siege is taking down the gold mine it is now zero bases to zero bases what you see is what you get as both sides are still fighting their way through a lot of well a lot of those knights um are current were just illusions there goes another knight um, a staff of sanctuary for the save there as the knights are trying to finish finish off some of those crypt fiends. 68 supply compared to 61 both sides fighting their way through as the peasants are now engaging against the acolytes and fighting their way as well mountain king looking to back up here 60 supply compared to uh, 64 both sides fighting again as the dreadlord continuing to cause quite a bit of problems acolytes could get taken down 58 supply compared to 57 no one is doing any mining whatsoever as another acolyte gonna end up getting destroyed army size of happy is still slightly larger peasants are trying to retreat back death coil frost nova D D divine shield archmage now trying to retreat back here as the undead army gonna find all of these peasants and well we also saw the undead army do that triple level up now a level six lich a level five death knight and a level four dreadlord the hero level advantage of happy is just continuing to grow and has been unsurmountable even with 
the triple staff of sanctuaries that Sok brought to the last fight. Long distance mining happening now. One acolyte patrolling back and forth, wanting to make sure that no more mining is getting underway elsewhere. And that is going to be the big deal here. Perhaps a new haunted gold mine by Happy, wanting the if, if the game does go long. Ghoul now brought over here as well. A storm bolt could easily take down that ghoul alongside a, a bunch of additional units. Mountain King now seeing that level four does have level two storm bolt ready for action as these peasants are going to be trying to retreat back 45 supply compared to 55 38 supply armor compared to 50 as the siege engines now being brought over once again all right i believe the lich and the death knight are just going to be able to well fire some damage straight out of the gates onto the archmage and that paladin and mountain king stormbolt straight up onto the death knight death knight does have an onk of reincarnation there's carry on swarm ripping through death knight now trying to retreat back Paladin sitting at level three. More healing. Um, more healing is going to be necessary. No casters amongst this mix at all. As a stormbolt now finding the well, that dreadlord. Both sides fighting again. Obsidian statues could get taken down. There goes another big frost nova. As the paladin does get up to level four. All right, there goes up an obsidian statue. Forty-four supply compared to forty-nine. Both sides fighting their way through. I believe the staff of sanctuaries are on cooldown. And with that, the staff of sanctuaries are a major, major way to try and replenish this uh, attack force. Stormbolt going down through. Paladin could be in a lot of trouble. Down to 270 hit points. There's a potion of invulnerability being used there as the Archmage now currently well, asleep at the wheel. Paladin continuing to try and figure out a way to carry this army through. Perhaps more Holy Light. Another staff of sanctuary. 44 supply compared to 84 as the Mountain King could be in trouble. It needs a Holy Light to try and stay alive. Acolytes surrounding the siege engine able to damage it up as the Paladin falls. And with that Paladin falling, the Mountain King is not going to have anywhere to go. And that is going to be the game. A back and forth. Well, I can't even say a back and forth game. Sock had some opportunities to try and take the lead with that army size advantage, but Happy with the hero level advantage throughout pretty much was in the driver's seat. Sock did a great job limiting the amount of gold mined from this gold mine consistently, but in the end, it was still not enough. Let me know what you guys thought about this game in the comments below. Here are the final scores. Unit score, that drastic hero score difference, giving the higher level heroes overall. And with those higher level heroes, stronger abilities to come away with the victory. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.